Getting a 3DS today with all these Pokemon games. One, two, three, four, five, six Pokemon games. And this is for $100, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, sounds cool. Thank you. Pick up today, I think. I got all these games for $100. Um, just these games, the Pokemon games alone, I have six of them. So, the Pokemon games will be good. I'll be selling these four, or sorry, these three for 20 bucks each. That's 60 there. And I'll be selling these guys for 15. These guys will be sold for 15 each. That's 45. And I'll be selling these each reback. Uh, I was selling these back for. Twenty dollars each, so that's one hundred and five. So the rest of these games will be free. I'll use these towards trade bait, and then there's a 3DS inside, so I'll probably get like sixty bucks for the 3DS. So overall, it was a pretty profitable deal. Trading all these guys, most likely those guys. Let's see what ends up happening. On uh, the PlayStation, the memory card. Castlevania, Kirby, and the balls. Forty-five bucks. Forty-five. Uh, would you do thirty? Yeah, we do thirty for you. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, sounds cool. Thank you. PSP. Uh, what is this on Vita? Yeah. Uh, how much would you like for it? I like twenty dollars for this. Uh, how about fifteen dollars? You know what? You could bargain. Let's make a deal. Let's All right. Take it then. Alrighty, sounds cool. Thank you. No problem. Super happy with the first pickup of the day. For $15, he said there's six games loaded into this. This was the Charger, so I don't own one of these. So this is an awesome deal for me. Uh, let's hope to see how the rest of the yard sale day goes. I've had a great week picking up stuff from uh, pawn shops and I went to the GameStop so I have a few things that I'll show you on the video uh, later on in the day with the recaps. A PlayStation 2 really dirty type of PlayStation 2 just got a aftermarket remote everything here I couldn't get the footage from the guy but he paid five bucks from that house right there um, so yeah it's been pretty slow the weather as you can see, it's kind of bad, foggy, so we'll see how the day goes. Looks like it's going to be a pretty slow day, but never know how the day goes at a yard sale. But this is another find today. What a Game Boy SP. <laughs> how much is the price, miss? $15. $15, wonderful. Alrighty, from this sale right here. So I picked up this for 15 I got a remote for two dollars, a stack of PS1 games, all the grow games, um, all of these, plus the Donkey Kong, the Beats, Wii Sport and Wii Play for five dollars. I think this is the best score of the day. Also the PlayStation I got, uh, portable was great so let's continue seeing what's going on. I had about an hour and a half of nothing and I found these so good day so far. So I found a big oversized Goliath gargoyle figure. I grew up with these. I didn't ever know that they had the big ones. A couple of Ninja Turtle figures, a wrestling figure, all for a buck. And this is a pretty cool car. Most likely will go to my dude cave. I might get it, I might trade it away, but it's a great car. All for a dollar. Oh, that's why I know the value of them because I had to buy them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much are these, miss? Three dollars a piece. Oh. Three dollars a piece? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. That is an excellent deal, I think. Alrighty. I got it from this yard sale right here. <laughs> the jackpot, guys. That's uh, all the Pokemon games there. Three blues, two golds, one silver, one red, Hope, uh, Mario. Donkey Kong Land, Wario Land 3, and Crash. This is the best score I've ever had for Game Boy games at a yard sale. And you already seen the footage from the home I got it at. It's been great. 
So this is a recap of my week. It's been one of the best weeks I've had yard selling for a very, very long time. This is almost everything I've got. This we'll get into later on. Uh, this is all my GameStop stuff that I went to the States. That's also going to be, there's a story behind this game right here. Uh, so let's get started. On Thursday, I traded a stack of old PS2 games for these games right here on top, the PS1 games. Um, I traded these into Buy and Sell Kings. I made a video for this. Um, over here, the, all these Pokemon games I got uh, and that Crash game right there. Uh, I got all of these by just asking an older woman that if she had any Pokemon games. And all of these cost me $3 each. Uh, this was the best deal for me. I've never found Pokemon games, uh, old ones, especially at this amount in one day. And this is in one shot. I also did not have this Warrior World or the Donkey Kong. So that's going to be going into my collection. Uh, this is a great find. I don't own one of these. This has three pre uh, six preloaded games in it. So that was really good. Um, early on in the week, I got uh, this Game Boy Color. Uh, Pokemon Gold, uh, Mario 64, and a wrecked up Pokemon Red. I got rid of the Pokemon Red. Um, so, I also got this uh, Game Boy SP for $15. So, that was a really good uh, deal for me. I also got some crappy games here. These two games right here aren't the best of games, but it's okay. For $15, you can't really go wrong. Uh, the two big headers were Mario Kart and Super Mario World. With that, I got a booklet. I asked if they had any box. Since they said they threw them all out a long time ago. With that, for $5, I also got Wii Sports. We play this Donkey Kong game, all these PS1 games, and those barrels right there. Uh, so that was for $5. That was a great deal. Uh... Earlier on in the week, so this was, uh, not early on, this was about Friday, I ended up getting a PS2, I don't have this one, with the Pokeballs and that game right there with Shaolin Monks, uh, we haggled back and forth, I got all that for $30, so that was a really good deal. Uh, so I also got this PS2 for $5, it had an aftermarket controller. Uh, I didn't bother putting the aftermarket controller, but this for $5 was great. This is what's left uh, from my Sunday's pickup. Uh, I got rid of the 3DS and I got rid of a few of the games, the Pokemon games. But in return, I got something else. Uh, I sold those and I went to the States and I got um, the SNES Classic. So I am not going to open this up, but it cost me $79.99 in the States. And I got three times the points. So uh, this is more of a collector's item for me. I'm not going to be opening it up. I also picked up these two WWE figures. They were half price off. Uh, so they cost me about uh, $6 and change. Uh, this game right here, like I always tell people, constantly get this game. I paid $15.99 for it because uh, I have an Elite Pro card. So that was really good. And I got these uh, cool little Lego pieces. There, I have another Charizard Mega Connects. Um, there's a War Turtle and an Ivysaur. Uh, so I got them for half price. Um, and that is the receipt right there. Um, so the two of the top ones cost me $4.50. Um, the Charizard was uh, $5.69. I got two of them. And... Bayantino was uh fifteen ninety nine. So the last time I went, I picked this up for twenty dollars. So it dropped in price a little. So this is a very good game. So that's my overall week. Uh, let me know in the comments if you haven't seen my other videos. Please watch them, subscribe, like, and this. There's a little story behind this. I also put this up in my previous video. Um, I didn't get any of the audio later. I checked in my video on YouTube. It wasn't there uh, I went to a game shop and uh, It was a CD shop that also sold some games. I picked this game up I was really surprised I didn't get the footage because uh, he had a stack of games that just came in I picked this up for $15. This is the best SNES game I found 
uh, or NES games that I found in the States. I also have in the previous video uh, a pawn shop that I went to. I picked up a few games. I put those away in my shelf, so they're kind of scattered away. Uh, but yeah, for $15, Darkwing Duck's a great deal. Uh, let me know in the comments of what you guys like and keep on subscribing. We have a few more weeks for yard selling almost till the midweek of September in here in Canada and by then it stops. So that's my overall view of what I got. And just to uh, end off with the note, all of these games, uh, the older generation games, all had the power save battery working besides the gold and the silver. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for